Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I am preparing to land on Tylo and it looks like the best sort of location would be maybe around here. Uh, we don't strictly need solar input because we have fuel cells on the lander but we do need ore because we intend to drill for that in order to refuel the lander so that's why I have the ore concentrations up so basically here here and here and the lighting is mainly so that I can actually see the landing location uh, but yeah landing on Tylo is always tricky and in this case I am going to definitely save uh, beforehand so pre Tylo landing and I may load that save just in case something horrible happens. I have decided that I will put a Kerbal in, that's one reason I'm putting a save on, and we need an engineer to optimize the the rate at which we drill. So Fran Ming Kerman is our Kerbal. Now where is Fran Ming Kerman? Fran Ming Kerman is in a fuzzy state here. I don't know which of the many many modules on here Fran Ming is in, so let me try EVAing Fran Ming. Over there, okay, well, I'm just gonna EVA Fran Ming to the lander. Okay, board. Alright, so here we go, landing on Tylo. Uh, possibly the hardest thing to land on for the landing part. Uh, getting off of it, the EVE is harder, but landing Tylo is pretty darn hard. As far as the stock system bodies are concerned. One other reason to put a Kerbal on is for comms. Oh, I can't just stage the engines. Well, a little bit of a worry there, but alright. So, it's not going to tell me what my real Delta V is. No, it's just because I've got this locked. 2,581. And we're in orbit with an orbital velocity of 2,102. So that's not a whole lot of extra to work with. We have to be super efficient about this landing. Burn time is only 2 minutes and 21 seconds though, which is good. Well, okay. Let's start going down. And I might redo this if it all goes haywire. Okay, well, two minutes of burn time. We can wait just a little bit longer. Uh, I wish in warp it would still show me the right timing instead of the next orbit time or something. Okay, here we go. Um, it might be a little bit imbalanced here. It's acting a little bit weird. Okay, I'll, I'll just have you hold retrograde then. My own ability to control it is a little bit off. It looks like it's imbalanced. I mean, I try my best to keep it balanced, but it's definitely using some yaw here. We should end up somewhere in the desired location. I don't think the timing was good enough though. See, we've got 53 seconds and how much till impact? 1 minute and 16 seconds. That's assuming we're not slowing down at the time, so... Highly dubious technique to figure this out here. Okay. I don't think I've been accurate enough. There's not a lot of margin here. Oh, now there's none at all. Now there's negative margin. Okay, it was lying about the Delta V, darn it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to redo this. It is little breaking time. Little breaking failed. 
Okay, maybe we shouldn't put a Kerbal in at all. Okay, but I'm gonna load the save. I sort of knew this was ha gonna happen, so... Tylo... Tylo is difficult. Maybe I shouldn't put a Kerbal in. We don't have comms otherwise, so I guess we have to. I have made this a bit too tight. No, I didn't accidentally get any ore in. I blame the Delta V charts. <laughs> well, I'm gonna lower the apoapsis on that side. Okay, that's gonna get us a low pass over it. But will that be enough to help things out? I don't know. We're gonna have to use landmarks to figure this out. Whether the timing is good or bad. God, try starting to retro burn at this ridge and use that as our reference. Okay, well, we're about at that ridge, so here we go. Wonder what moon or planet that is. The one rising in the distance. No, landing location-wise anywhere around here is fine. Anywhere we can land will be fine. It's just a matter of whether we do land. It's a suicide burn, but maybe on the wrong side of that particular phrase. We need to be a little bit earlier. Okay, a lot earlier. Whack! 500 meters per second earlier. Okay. Sorry, Fran Ming. <laughs> it's, it's a rough day for Fran Ming. Don't normally do this, but Tylo is special. Oh, so I made the lander really, really tight. It's theoretically capable of doing this, but... Mm, executing on that theory is a little bit difficult. Descent burn initialization. So ahead of that ridge. Our periapsis is in a different location though. Hmm. And it's clipping into the surface. Gosh darn it. Well, that's inefficient to have to raise the periapsis like that. Well, drifting right along, very close to the surface, and getting closer. I'm gonna use this little spot as a reference point, assuming we don't crash ahead of it. If we do any sort of pitch up, it's gonna be too inefficient with the fuel that we have, so... Just have to hope. <laughs> I mean, uh, and set the periapsis right. Okay, well, we're scripting along all right. Here we go. It's all very daunting. I think I have to wiggle up. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Ah, uh, it wiggles too much. Oh no, I I've got too much spare. Oh wait, maybe not. Quickly, quickly.
Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh gosh, don't hover. No, don't hover. Okay, 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 okay. We made it with zero. <laughs> We're sliding though. We're sliding. That's not good. The problem with making of zero we have, is we have no spirit power. We're going to need to start the fuel cell, but we have no fuel. Well, we're getting fuel. Hopefully we can get net power soon. Let's get the radiators out. But we're also still sliding. Okay, we got one drill. That one's doing ISRU. But we're sort of sliding. Oh, well, I can stop the sliding like that. But we're not getting net liquid fuel and oxidizer, it looks like. Well, now we're slowly... We got a little bit of net there, but we lost power. No, it's not efficient enough. Ren Ming, you're not a good enough engineer. 0.2 per second it's getting. Let me uh, turn SAS off. That might... No, it doesn't consume that much. Well, so... My calculations as far as whether we could net produce liquid fuel and oxidizer from this seem to be wrong. I did the calculations, but I made... I must have made a mistake. It might just be the fact that we're not getting as much ore as I was anticipating. We're here, it's a pretty high concentration area. Okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's 90% cut off. Whatever exactly that means, but maybe I should have used some other measure to figure that out. Well, Fran Ming is stranded here. Maybe if I go to the tracking station and come back, you'll do some different math, but I don't think so. We've landed at Tylo. We can do some science. But we're gonna lose power like this. And transmitting the science will only make us lose even more power. I think since we can't replenish it would be advisable to just leave Fran Ming with some power. If possible. We're still losing power though. Well, the radiators take some power. What else is taking power right now? I've got that off. The Kerbals on their own don't generally take power. Now, ISRU is off. That's off. I guess the core is taking some. Wherever I hid the core. Okay, well, anyway, it's only right that Fran Ming should plant a flag. And do that science. But, Fran Ming's gonna need to be rescued. Okay, Fran Ming at Tylo. Well, this went about as well as expected. Okay, takes her for sample, keep. EV report, keep. Gotta make sure she has stuff that make her worth res uh, rescuing. We'll keep our other assets in orbit as they are. Let's just go to the VAB and cook up something to rescue Fran Ming and see when the next opportunity to send it will be.
All right, so what we have here is a stripped down version of the Tidal Lander without all the ISRU stuff, so it has more Delta V, but that will only be doing the last bit of descent and then the ascent into Tidal orbit. Uh, instead of having it do the descent, or most of the, uh, the descent, we have a Wolfhound stage here that will also be responsible for capturing around Jewel and also getting into orbit around Tylo. So it'll, it has 4,202 meters per second. The ascent slash last bit of descent stage is 3,336. And then we have the rocket. And the rocket, the core is another rhino stage which will handle the completion of orbit and the transfer. And then we have boosters with mammoths that actually handle most of the launch, but the Delta V isn't being read right now for reasons I don't quite understand. But uh, yeah, we have Delta V with those, obviously. So we have a controller on here, but we don't have a good enough antenna. So that's a thing. And do we want to send one person? The lander can can carry two. Maybe we should send somebody to rescue our Kerbal, and that'll save us an antenna. Jeb and Val are still here. Jeb and Val each have only one star. This is weird. I'm gonna send Val. So Val will get more stars that way, I think is the idea. So that will be good. We don't have any additional science here, so we'll have to use the science that is already on the other lander and then take the data, and probably I'll forget all about that. So, no, it's not even reading any Delta V here. This is weird. Um, there are mammoths. There's fuel. Let me go out of the VAB and come back in and see if we can deal with that. I'm sure we have, well, I'll double check that we have enough del uh, thrust weight ratio. Delta V is something that I already know, but thrust weight ratio. Okay, here we go. The straight ratio at sea level, 1.32. Okay, yes. So all is good. Yep, we have a fair amount of Delta V there. Probably, I uh, because we're doing a rescue mission, I've got substantial margins because I don't like the rescue missions to also then get stranded. Uh, so yeah, let's go for it. Oh wait, this is not a dual window yet, maybe. Um, actually it is a jewel window. We're in luck. This is the right time to go to jewel. So, let's just go. We do have some solar panels on the lander itself. So, we can wait until daylight though, that's no problem. I decided not to go with an option that uses fuel from Minmus because I just wanted to expedite our rescue. But since this is a jewel window, Maybe we will send something else over as well. Maybe a competent ISRU lander. This is just the rescue vessel. We should send the proper lander next time. Bigger. Much bigger. Uh, I'll think about that. So for now we'll just do this though. SAS on. Throttle is up. And launch. I definitely added struts and everything. So off we go. All right, we are past the speed of sound. We've got soul panels and fuel cells just in case. Obviously, soul panels don't work very well at Jewel, but they'll work for a lot of the journey. So might as well use them instead of guzzling the fuel. Well, we should throw down. Okay, boosters set. Rhino. And throttle up. I think we can get rid of the fairing. Oh, that is not the fairing I was looking for. I meant the top one. Okay. Yeah, this will have more than enough to transfer to Jewel. Let me shut down there and coast a little bit. 
All right, that's an orbit, though a little bit lopsided. And let's try and figure out the transfer to Jewel. Well, a mid-course correction will be necessary for the inclination there. But that's all right for now. The ascending and descending node are basically halfway anyway. Well, actually, no, it's saying that the ascending node's right there. Hmm. It's really close. Okay, well. All right, well, it's just being complicated. All right, well, we can do this and then do a mid-course correction. Probably have the Rhino stage handle the mid-course correction too, but it's a bit cumbersome. We'll see. Too bad Val is not more experienced so that she could turn to the maneuver node specifically. Well, we'll try to fix that. Okay, entirely predictable rescue mission is on its way. Okay, getting done with this burn. I'll just do it as advertised and then we'll see. Okay, well, pretty good precision for the Rhino stage. We've got Tylo trying to interfere there, but that's not a good place for it to be in order to help us capture. But, but it's very persistent. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we have a periapsis and we're capturing. It's sort of a lopsided orbit with respect to Tylo though. We'd like one end to actually be touching Tylo's orbit, but I'll take that for now. And we'll fine tune it when we get into... Well, let me fine tune it a little bit there, but I don't think... Yep, I already messed up there. I think... Oh, that's point two. Well, if we get that, we're lucky. All right, yeah, but we can fine tune that when we get to the mid course correction or when we get in after that and get into Jewel SOI. I'm not gonna follow this out because we want to potentially launch something else to Jewel on this window. But this is all good and it's got its node in 76 days. So with Val heading out to the rescue, I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.